Hello, welcome to another video. Yes, I'm in my pyjamas and I'm using a shit phone to record this, but yesterday I picked up a new bike and it is the Honda CB125R. I haven't rid a bike in about six months, but before this you may have saw my other videos on YouTube and my TikTok where I had like the Lex Motors, the Mutt, the 50s, the scooters, all that type of stuff. But this is my first proper Honda motorcycle with the maximum power out part, and yes, it's in my living room. So this is the bike in the living room. Picked it up yesterday, I rode it back, and my first impressions are it is a absolutely phenomenal bike. So this particular model has the button mirrors and a tail tidy and a black sprocket and a what the fuck is that color gold chain yeah but yeah it's a really nice bike it's got 14.7 horsepower and 11.6 newton meters torque can these dogs shut the fuck up all right um so yeah the looks of the bike is really nice it's got the classic honda dash because got my fingers off right and the dog's gonna be barking but so you got your uh, time, which I have no idea if that's correct. You got your RPM, you got your miles, you got your gear indicator, you got the neutral ABS light, and you got a shift light in the middle, and all the other cool gadgets which you get with Honda. The build quality is really remarkable for this uh, type of bike. It's got a really nice clutch, brake, lever. Basically, everything on this bike is top quality. Another cool thing about this bike, um, which they introduced in 2022, are these upside down Showa forks. Sorry for my camera quality, I'm on a very shit phone, but the forks are lovely. They're the same as what they put on the 600 and the 300. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. It's also, could have cut me fucking number plate, I probably just saw that. It's also got a believe the biggest rear tire on a 125 motorcycle it's a 150 rear yeah it's in this red color which i think looks very nice the headlight you know the uh, classic honda cafe racer cbr lineup This bike's performance, as I uh, found out yesterday, is very, uh, very nippy. I've had a lot of 125s in the past, and none of them has been as fast as this bike right here. It's in the living room because, uh, why the fuck that? Looks cool, and keep it nice and clean. Hopefully be doing the first ride today. I'll make sure to record, because I got a camera just before he sold me last bike. And, uh, yeah. More detailed reviews and write-outs to come, but long story short for this little shit review I've made, it is a very good bike, and I would highly recommend going on the looks, quality, and performance. It is, in my opinion, the best 125 four-stroke. Another thing to mention is this 2021 model... I don't know if I said 22. Um, as I said, they introduced the new upside down forks, which are really, really fucking nice. I shall say so myself. And the engine is now a water cooled, I believe, four valve. Four, yeah, four valve. Which is different than the previous gem from 2020 downwards. You can always tell if it is because it's got. The uh, don't know me fucking colours that colour on the suspension, but yeah, more to come. Highly recommend the bike, and yeah, I'm very happy with it.